Today I wanted to do a video based on all of my favorite products for the face and this is mostly foundation and stuff like that but I am going to be doing separate segments and one of them is going to be skincare and another one is also going to be eyes and then maybe a separate one for lips but right now I just wanted to show you my go-to products and ones that are staples and ones that are my must-haves so let's get into it. The first thing I wanted to talk about were primers and I actually have three of them. They are ranging from really cheap to drugstore and to a more higher end so there's a different range and there are different finishes as well. So the first one I'm going to start with is this Mally one and this is really nice because it's like pretty much of a silicone finish and I really do like this. A little does go a long way and it look, works great. My skin feels like flawless after I put it on. It's just a smoother canvas to start your foundation routine with. The next one is my drugstore one, and this is the Ame Smart Shade CC Luminous Primer. And this is great if you just want to brighten up your face before you put foundation on. And it says it's a complexion correcting primer. And this is also great because it has SPF in it. And this says SPF 15 in case your foundation doesn't have SPF in it. And this is more of a pink tone primer. The next one is actually a green primer. And this is from e.l.f. And this surprised me because I wasn't, didn't really have great expectations for this primer necessarily. But I tried it and it's amazing, especially for a combination. I just did my regular skincare routine. And I put this on and it was great because it made my skin more matte. It mattified it. And I narrowed it down to two, which is really good for me. And... One is a drugstore and one's more higher end. This one is a CoverGirl Atlas Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. And this is great because it has 20 SPF. It also has really good buildable coverage and it's in soft honey. And this is an all-day flawless coverage. And it basically says it's a long-lasting power of a primer, coverage of a concealer, and the blendability of a foundation in one shine-free. And I can definitely agree with that statement that it is shine-free and it works great. I would definitely pick this up if I were you. And this one I'm running out of, but I would definitely repurchase. The next one that's more of a higher end is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation. And this was actually like $42, which is kind of crazy once you think about it. But it's my holy grail. I'm wearing it today. I love it. I can't live without it. This is probably the third one I purchased. And it's phenomenal. I'm in 128 in case you wanted to know. But this is great because even if I do get a little bit more tan, I can just change my bronzer but still keep this foundation. And I absolutely love it. I would highly recommend it. And the coverage is buildable, but I think it's like more of a medium coverage. It's not super full coverage though. And I can't say enough good things about that. So now getting on to powders, I have a couple of ones to help contour and I have one finishing powder. So I'm going to start with the finishing powder and this is my go-to one. It's really nice first off because it's like translucent so you don't have to find a powder that matches your skin because once I start tanning in the summer or if I get more pacey in the winter time, I don't want to go looking for different powders that I bought that matched me during that time of the season and whatnot. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Thorough Light. And this one's amazing. As you guys can tell, I've been loving this and I hit pan. Um, this lasted a while. I probably have this almost for a year. And I use it almost every day that I do wear like full coverage face. I am wearing it now and I think it's great. It's so silky smooth and the consistency is so soft and buttery that it's not like any other foundation powder or any powder in general that I've used. It's definitely worth the price tag. I think it's about $50, but I definitely would repurchase this. I have one highlighter and this is been my go-to probably for the past year or two and it's the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. It just looks like it has more of a gold finish to it, which I really like, but it's super shimmery and nice. It's great because it's shimmery, but it doesn't have chunks of glitter in it, which I find awesome. And this is great for highlight, highlighting the nose and just underneath. I am wearing it today and I love it. I have one contour kit, and this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light. This actually came out pretty recently, within the past couple of months, and I just got my hands on it recently, so this is kind of like the first month that I've been using it, and I have been loving it, guys. So I absolutely adore these bronzers. I'm actually wearing them today to contour, which is awesome. 
and the ones that I use are these two just for the regular general contour just around the face and then for a more of a chiseled look I go for this darker one but the two highlights I like are these two and I mix them together and then I just put them on my cheekbones and then I finish with the Mary Luminizer on top so this is absolutely amazing I would highly recommend it I think it's great because I was looking for something dark contours that I can use when I do get tanner and this looks like it has the great shades to match my skin tone. And then I have two finishing products and these are sprays. The first one's the Urban Decay B6 Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray and it says Redness Reducing, Pore Minimizing, and Oil Absorbing. So I think it only really covers one of those claims which is the oil absorbing. This is great for if you do have oily skin and for setting your makeup throughout the day, so I would highly recommend it. It says, calms a multi multitude of sins with our soothing spray. It preps and hydrates as it reduces redness, minimizes pores, and absorbs oily oils. So this is great for before you do your makeup and after. I use this as like an after spray. And then this is the Max Fix Plus Spray. And this one is the Skin Refresher Finishing Mist. And I do use this at the end. And sometimes I also use it if I want to use more of a wet eyeshadow. And I just spray my brush and then dip it in. So those are all of my face favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you later. Bye.